hi guys uh, welcome to example number four in the topic of plain sailing uh, this is example four as the previous three examples or the links to the previous three examples are in the description section below so please make sure that you watch those videos as well along with this video practice all the questions they are all different questions so uh, this will be a good practice for you guys if you are preparing for exams all right so let's get started with this question as you know probably a plane sailing is used when distances involved are less than 600 nautical miles and uh, this assumes that the earth is flat curvature of the earth is not taken into account and courses can be drawn as straight lines so this question says that there is a vessel in position 34 degrees 11 minutes 11.6 minutes south 178 degrees 59.5 minutes west this is the departure position this is the departure position all right and the vessel sails at 9 30 in the morning it's sailing on a course of 257 degrees true the speed is 12 knots so this is the speed we've got the course fantastic uh, what you have to do is calculate the dr position so this dr position is the arrived position and it's dr position because it's based on uh, the estimated course and speed uh, and uh, it's not taking into account the effects of winds and current so it may be a different position when you arrive at the end of the, uh, at 1900 hours but this position is dr because it's based on your estimated course and speed so this is the transit time will be from 930 to 1900 hours so that's when you have to calculate the arrived position and you have to use the plane sailing method so the first thing i would do in this case is uh, draw a rough diagram just to get an idea of what kind of course the vessel is doing so i've got my departure position here this is my departure position i am doing a course of 257 and i know you see 77 here i'll tell you how this came about i'm doing a course of 257 this becomes my distance I'll tell you how the distance was calculated as well this is a plane sailing so this becomes my departure and this is my dlat because plane sailing assumes the latitudes are equally placed all right so the first thing i'll do is the course given to me is 257 degrees true now 257 degrees true would also mean something like this so this is north this is south and this is west west is uh, sorry south is 180 degrees and west is 270 degrees if i'm doing 257 i'm somewhere here right this is 257 so 257 would mean from south going west by 77 degrees now courses are always measured southwest southeast or northwest northeast you don't come down from west or east you only come down or you go on the other side of the south or either side of the north so in this case you are going south 77 degrees west which would equal to 257 degrees so 257 degrees can also be 180 plus 77 degrees that's why it's 257 all right so it's south 77 degrees west and that's why you have the course here is south 77 degrees west it's a southwesterly course uh, the transit time in this case is from 1900 hours to 930 it's given in the question so from 1900 to 930 is about 9 hours 30 minutes which is also equal to 9.5 hours why because 30 minutes by 60 is equal to 0 0.5 so one hour has 60 minutes so 30 minutes will be exactly half an hour uh, half an hour yes so it's nine and half hour, 9.5 hours the speed given to us is 12 knots so speed of the vessel is 12 knots so the distance the vessel would transit is 12 knots every knot uh, so 12 knots every hour and you have 9.5 hours so 12 by 9.5 is 114 miles so you have transited 114 nautical miles the first thing that you do is calculate the dlat the dlat can be calculated by the formula cos course multiplied by distance you know the course it's 77 degrees even if you put 257 you will still get the same answer only that sometimes you might get a negative value you can ignore the negative value in that case all right so cos 270 cos 77 degrees multiplied by 114 is 25.6 how i got this south so this south i got is from here so if i'm doing a southwesterly course my d light will be south and my d long will be west that's why I write my course in the two figure notation that pretty much tells me what my D lat and my D long is going to be. So I got my south D lat from the course, the southwesterly course. All right, because uh, this is uh, less than uh, 60 minutes, 
the DLAT is 25.6 minutes it's less than 60 so it's still in minutes is 0 degrees and 25.6 minutes remember in the calculator when you see this don't confuse yourself and say oh is this degrees or minutes it cannot be degrees because 1 degree is 60 minutes if you say 25 degrees 25 degrees uh, would be more than uh, 1500 nautical miles and I've told you that plane sailing is for less than 600 nautical miles all right so we have got the DLAT as south and we have got the departure let from given to us in the question so from south we are going further south so we have to add the d lat to our departure lat to find our final latitude so when we add it we get 34 degrees 37.2 minutes south all right so you can see from the figure from south you are going further south so that means your south latitude has to increase you will add the d lat so you got your final latitude so this is your arrived latitude at 1900 hours that's what we needed this is one part of the question then we have to find the d long or the longitude as well so for that first we have to find departure departure equals tan course multiplied by d lat tan of 77 course is 72 77 degrees you can write 257 here you will get the same answer again like i said sometimes you might get a negative value you can ignore that departure is a unit of distance you cannot have negative distance so tan course multiplied by d lat d lat has been calculated above this is d lat is 111.1 this is your departure this is in nautical miles then d long equals departure divided by cos of m lat now what is m lat m lat is your mean latitude how can you calculate mean latitude well there is a separate video it's there in the description section you can see how i calculate mean latitude but today simplest explanation is if your initial and final latitude are both in the same hemisphere like in this case this is south and south and this is your initial latitude and this is your final latitude you will add the two and divide by two remember take your initial latitude and final latitude do not take your d lat by mistake sometimes students in a hurry they add it up with the d lat don't do that so see this is my initial and this is my final so departure and final latitude same hemisphere you add the two divide by two if they were different hemisphere you would have subtracted the two and divided by two in this case you add the two and divide by two and you get your mean latitude 34 degrees 24.4 minutes south so your d long would be departure this is your departure divided by cos of m lat or cos of mean latitude simply put in the values you get your d long is 134.5 now this 134.5 is not 134.5 degrees it is 134.5 minutes so 134.5 minutes would be equal to 2 degrees 14.5 how because 1 degree equals 60 minutes so if you divide 134.5 by 60 you will get 2 degrees and remaining is 14.5 minutes all right uh, why is d long west i've told you before this is from the course we are on a southwesterly course so if my d light was south because it's south uh, southwesterly so my d light was south and my d long will be west all right so then i take my departure longitude given to me in the question is 178 59.5 west now i'm going further west so from west i'm going further west so what will i do i will add the depart the d long now if i add the d long my longitude final longitude is becoming 181 degrees 14 minutes so i've added the two and it's becoming 14 minutes but longitude cannot be greater than 180 degrees it cannot be longitude cannot be greater than 180 degrees so i will whenever i see my final longitude is and this should ideally be west right because i'm going from west i'm going further west so whenever i see my longitude has become more than 180 i will subtract it from 360 degrees and i will reverse the sign so when i subtract it from 360 i get 178 46 minutes now why do i reverse the sign so even conceptually it works out like that so because these longitudes are so close to the anti-meridian your anti-meridian is 180 degrees when you are observing the anti-meridian your west this becomes your west side and this becomes your east because you are taking a round of the world and coming around so your prime meridian is of course your 000 degrees if it is 000 degrees 
then this is east and this is west but because you are close to the anti meridian the opposite happens because you go round like this onto the other side of the world so if you are at 178 degrees 59.5 minutes west this is your departure longitude and you are going further west you are actually crossing over onto the east side and that is why when you added the two your final longitude was coming more than 180 and when you subtracted the 360 you reverse the sign and basically you have reached the east side and that is why your longitude your final longitude is the 178 degrees 46 minutes east all right so if you didn't get that concept watch it again visualize it look at a globe think about it how the east to west longitude if you go from 000 and keep going around the earth the earth is round if you go going round keep going round and you reach on the other side and then you face the 180 degrees longitude how does your east and west change having a globe will help all right so let me know if you have any questions any doubts about this um i'm happy to answer it put it in the comment section and i'll try my best to answer it as soon as possible thanks and bye